Hello, good afternoon, and I'm joined by Jill. Jill, it's been ages, hasn't it? I know, about a year, I think. And can I just say, as soon as I saw these the last time I was on, I went and bought them. These are fantastic they because are. they're like hybrid pens, aren't they? They are amazing. They really yeah. are. I'm so glad you bought them and I'm I, so glad you love them. I that love is them. Really good. So before we get started, do you want to tell us a little bit about Pentel? Yes, Jill? certainly. Um, they were formed in 1946, wow. which means they've been a, a really big household name for over 70 years now. Mm. And amazingly, over two thirds, that's like 70% of all the stationary inventions are down to Pentel innovation and inspiration. So, for example, you've got things like the rollable pen. Oh, this come is, in. Step in for I'll us. bring That's these it. with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rollable pen, one of the very first rollable pens. We take them for, for granted now that you'll get a rollable pen. This was brought out in 1972. Right. And it's still exactly the same as it was because it was such a perfect thing at the time. They haven't changed it. Wow. You have the Energel pen, mm -hmm. which is ideal for left-handed people because the ink is instantly drying. Right. You wipe your hand across it and it's dry instantly. That's another one of their inventions. Lovely. And you have the famous mechanical pencil mm -hmm. that instead of having to turn it round to get the lead to come out, a couple of clicks, that again is Pentel. They have just such a fabulous name. And then we move into the realms of stardom, literally, mm -hmm. because this is the sign pen. This is the very, very first ever felt tip pen. This was developed in the 1960s. Wow. It got into the hands of an American president. He loved it so much, it became the pen of NASA, and it actually was, went into space. It was the first official pen in space. This exact it's, one? Well, it's the, the, this is called the sign pen, yeah. and this is exactly the very first fibre tip pen. This is, this is not the, the, the pen that went, went into, into space. Right. I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they may have changed the design slightly on the, on the outside part, but before that, there were no felt tip pens, you, you, fibre tip pens. You couldn't believe now there was a world that didn't have fibre tip <laughs> pens in. Wow. But without Pentel, you wouldn't have one today. And their other very, very popular innovation, as we've already mentioned briefly, is this beautiful hybrid dual metallic pen. And we have obviously the 12 of them today, which we'll be talking about more a little mm. bit later on. So fabulous company, really, really lovely one to work for and really proud of all their marvellous products. Oh, I love all that history. That yeah, was a I love fabulous history. introduction. <laughs> that was no all that stuff I never knew. That's great. Now, I can tell you, though, while you have been telling us, we are so busy for these. Oh. <laughs> we were busy last time. I remember I was surprised I actually <laughs> you, managed to you get were panicking. any. You panicking, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, to get them. So how would you describe these beautiful pens? I think um, it, these are not my words, but they're such good words that I'm, I'm going to steal them. It's like the wings of a humming, hummingbird moving very, very fast Ooh. as the light reflects depending on which way the sun is shining or which way the light is, the pen yeah. will look a different colour. Mm -hmm. As a bubble, if you think of a bubble in the sky, that's what those pens will do. And they look gorgeous just sat there with all that beautiful sparkle. Wow. What I've done here is made this chart um, of a lot of butterflies there with their wings. Yeah. And the ones on this side, on the right hand side, yeah. these are all on white paper. Okay, um, I just need to let you know that we're 10% already gone. Oh my goodness, already. Uh, three minutes <laughs> in, yeah. Um, they are beautiful and a fabulous gift for Christmas as well. They yeah. really are. Um, so white paper there, mm -hmm. and then this is black paper. And you can see it's the same pen, the yeah. same colour pen. So you really, for people that like a bargain, and I think a lot of crafters like a bargain, oh, I know do. I do, yeah. then you are getting really more than two pens in, once, uh, in one because they look different on different coloured paper and they look different as to which way they turn in the light. I mean, look at this one, because that, so that is the same pen. Yes. And can you see it's almost one is green with yellow or with green with gold and then the other one is sort of gold with more green. It do you is, know what I mean? It is, absolutely. They are. And that one. Th there's, uh, the ladies in my classes call them the magic pens <laughs> because that, I think, is a perfect way to describe them. They really are. And they, the silver and the sparkle, that, not the silver, the sparkle that comes out of them is just beautiful. Wow, I'm just in awe. So feast your eyes on these gorgeous colours. Now, what's happening is, can we talk about the packaging? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, they're coming to you differently now um, because Lovely. what we're doing is sending, or what the manufacturer is doing, sending to you like this, but it means that you can fit more pens in. Yay! <laughs> so, we don't mind this. Uh, so, this is how it will arrive, but you've got four limited edition colours. See, I'm jealous because I don't have the limited edition <laughs> colours because I bought them last time. Which ones are they? Could you point them out yes, for us? Yes, on the chart here, they're is the ones on the far side there. These ones here. And they have uh, got some lovely 
combinations the blue and the gold you can see that very clearly then when you turn that the top one looks oh, blue on the one side gold I, on the other same pen it's just amazing, amazing. yeah and pink. then the pink metallic blue mm -hmm. which is a again two of my favorite colors pink and metallic blue and then yellow metallic green which is lovely for leaves oh. because leaves of course will show if you're if you're die cut leaves and then color them in with the pens yeah and then that as it sits on a card or on a, a scrapbook page you'll get that effect on there as well and then the green metallic red which I think is an amazing color because very autumn you could use mm. that for autumn or um, any sort of woodland scene would look beautiful in those as well well now I need to tell you you've got to be really quick this is what happened last time there are two minute queues on the phone lines and 40% of the stock has gone here I'm not surprised when you're saving as a freedom member you're saving 15 pounds and five pence that is incredible so do make sure you're checking out your basket 01733602000 or check out your baskets on hachanda.com that's not, I don't think that's going to be here in literally 10 minutes. What are we going to demo? <laughs> That'll be interesting. We, um, well, there's lots. I have got quite a lot of samples, yeah. which um, we can have a look at later. That's great. Right. These are the point liners. What do you like about these? These are amazing. They have brought them out. Lots of five years of research to get these, mm -hmm. which you wouldn't believe that people can do that and, and come up like not the oh let's do it after three months no five years of research right they are beautiful they're great for writing with for mm. sketching with for drawing with we have got some samples here yes let's and have i must a look. admit i haven't done these i'm not an artist not i'm a, a crafter mm -hmm. <laughs> that to me i might be wrong and i'd be very embarrassed if i am but i think that might be venice yeah oh. and it looks beautiful that was drawn by somebody from pentel in germany um, very beautifully you can the the fineness and the the mm. variation five Shady. pens yeah and a normal pen just to put it in perspective yeah um, a normal pen when you think of a thin nibbed pen mm. would be one millimeter yeah so one half that size would be 0.5 millimeter and one of these one of the ones in the middle mm -hmm. is a 0.5 pen yeah um, but we've also got a point 0.5 wow. which is I'll like the finest of finest of finest nibs yeah. so any detail you want to do any gentle strokes you want to do it's all there at your fingertips and they have got a lovely lovely little metal clip as well so if you want to look okay. like a real artist you can clip it <laughs> clip it to your shirt as well the, the ink flows beautifully in them I'm not an artist um, that's um, this picture here. I love it. Uh, this is Grumpy Cat. I Meet know Grumpy, Grumpy Cat. Cat. <laughs> this has been done by my friend uh, Lucy Harker. She's a really lovely girl and she's a very talented artist as well. Very does a lot of portraits. Yeah. He is. That's her favourite one she's yeah. ever done. Grumpy Cat. That, that was done cool. with those. Lovely. You've um, done the eye. Oh yeah. We'll just move that out of the way. We'll get the professional ones out no, of the way first. No, don't be wrong. You're <laughs> too modest. Too this modest. one is from uh, Germany as well. This is the one from, uh, from Pentel in Germany mm. has done this. You can see how the pen's been used to do the shading on the neck yeah. and the hair. Whereas if you're just using one width of nib, you're not going to get any of this at all. It's That's just it. going to, you're going to lose so much definition. Fantastic. Now we are 10... Oh, sorry, sorry, I missed the, the other ones, oh, yes. um, the owl and the lady. The lady is called Tracy yeah. and the owl. They've been done by Andy here in the UK, Pentel in the UK. Uh, beautiful work. The um, owl. Oh, well, which is down there. Oh, yes, the owl's, yeah. the owl's there, which is beautiful. Yeah, with 10% of the stock gone. Now, we've got three minute cues on the phones. So this one is your 0.05 nib. So super fine. You want me to draw on the back? Of no, it's it just as if you wanted to hold it. Oh, I hold it over the under the nib. Oh, I see you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. Does that make it easier or yeah, harder? Yeah, sure. That's great. <laughs> so that probably makes it worse. Naught five, <laughs> and then let's open this one up. This is your naught point one, like so. You hardly see a difference, really, but you just need to know that they're very fine. And naught point three. Let's get this again. There we go. Yeah, 0 0.5, Ta -da. it's getting a bit thicker now, you can see that, can't you? And they're very durable, the tips are durable as well, they have designed them to make them durable, so if you're a little bit heavy handed, yeah. which I must admit I am, um, you are still going to be able to use them, and as I'll be demonstrating later, they are just amazing to use inside a stencil. Yeah. I think people are going to have a lot of stencils that you, you never consider drawing inside because mm. you can't get a pen in there. Yeah. But now you can. You can get a pen in and you can draw in stencils and 
I think it just looks beautiful having something drawn through a stencil. So, yeah, that now can be done. So good. Nine ninety nine. We're now twenty percent of the stock gone. Four six one nine eight two. Now four minute queues on the phone. Oh, if you wow. do want to get any of these, I would suggest going to the website because it's gone nuts out there. Now we've got some paint markers. Now I notice there is an array of <laughs> items. So I've been busy. <laughs> so I take it this goes on different surfaces. It certainly does. Yes, um, I've had such fun with these. Um, they are amazing to work with. Um, the plate that you can see there. I've actually um, that's quite very handy. Um, I've written on the plate with the um, fine liner with the point liner. I'm not sure how permanent that will be but just for the sake of writing on Christmas Eve so that you can put your cookies milk and carrots out for Santa and Rudolph then perfect um, I have baked it well wow. so it might stay but I'm not gonna try rubbing it out okay but um, I just thought what a lovely idea to yeah. with a paint pen to decorate a plate and I like him. <laughs> he's gorgeous, isn't he? The reggae man. Yeah. Yes. Uh, thank you to Olive, who's my friend's grandmother and my goddaughter's great grandmother, for knitting this amazing hat. <laughs> he's uh, the pen. The paint pens will work on stone so much easier than using a brush because you're literally just drawing and you're getting what you want and I'm not sure I wasn't aware of this before I'm not sure if you knew this there's a, a big craze at the moment for people decorating stones yes, and yeah. leaving them on the beaches really and, nice. and the car parks and and you find it and then you go and leave it somewhere else and it's so sweet it's just so lovely such a lovely thing to do I would like to find <laughs> this stone this is my favorite sample <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought this would be lovely for like the Christmas dinner table. You could just go out and have like a representation. That's supposed to be me with my glasses on. Is it? <laughs> yeah. That's so fun. <laughs> so you could have a representation of each person sat at the dinner table at Christmas dinner and you could make a stone look like them. But yes, that was so easy to do as well. I love um, that. Just a little pair of die cut glasses look, there as well. Look, stuck on glasses. <laughs> I'm just, it's the look on its face. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether, whether, whether it's angry or whether it's like really like, yes, I've nailed it. Maybe it's that, I've nailed it. <laughs> yes, it, it is very good. Um, these um, these fruits are just beautiful. Now the the set we've got today is the four colours. You can do a lot of those fruits just using the four colours, like the carrot I've done on the plate here. Okay. I've actually used um, the red and the yellow to create that orange. Mm -hmm. You have to be quick, but you can do it. I can show you that later when we do some, sure. some samples of it. Um, so you can actually use just the four and create them. But <coughs> on the website, I think you have some other other Pentel paint sets yes. as well but what a lovely idea making up little I little jars that. of fruit all sorts look the little ball ball yeah that's um I was swallowed out the station by three dogs with that in my bag were you <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, that's our dog Chloe and I put some dog bones in there that's fun uh, it's one of the little um Christmas decorations you can actually just you know make yeah. yourself but lovely to personalize things and of course mm. the paint pens go on so smoothly and so easily may I just pick out yes. this plate so for you to hold this up one. this one okay um this was done Aww. by a four-year-old called yeah. Sophia well done Sophia um and she designed this herself and did this all on her own just to show you do not have to be an artist to do paint plates and actually I think they're better than the ones I did actually oh, bless you. <laughs> so, so there's uh, just like you can you can do them however you want to do yeah and I thought it was just such a good idea to just see how easy it was yeah. With no instruction, she just picked the pens up and used them that that easily. So literally, they are child's play. Wonderful. Now you've got these colours: red, green, yellow, white, gold, and silver for thirteen ninety seven. Again, another great saving. Ten pound thirty saving. One one eight nine two four. And last but not least, we've got our brush pens. Always very handy, wouldn't yes. you say? They are beautiful. Pens. Are they water based? They are water based, mm -hmm. and they are beautifully controlled because there's a valve inside the pen itself, so you're not getting gushing amounts of pen um, pen coming out. I mean, coming out of the pen. They are also portable, so you're not going to take a pot of water with you, which I would undoubtedly knock over right. without any trouble whatsoever. And also, if you are actually using watercolours, and watercolours do look beautiful, mm. if you are using them. 
and you've mixed up say a certain amount of water and a certain amount of paint then to try and get that same amount again is really difficult and you waste so much doing it that way this way you're just using what you want out of the brush at the time and then they're just stored and you just go back to it when you want they are portable they're easy to use really vibrant colors mm, as well look at these it's, uh, they can be that's a uh, water down the gray I've used a water brush with that as well to, to achieve that look um, so they can be taken down or they can be the vibrant colors that we've got on the chart there yeah beautiful I t I, this is silly I've just seen the saving you are saving £57. How are we doing this? Um, so we have taken the price down to £44.94. Even better, it's a, no, even, even better, you've got a freedom discount, £40.45. And, and even better than that, two flexi buy payments. What is going on? Uh, two payments of £20.23. And and you could get started. If you're new to crafting, you haven't got any of these types of brushes, they are fantastic. 10% of the stock's gone. What? Seven minute queues. This show's gone <laughs> bonkers. 815754 wow. is your item number. Oh, right. Hi well, oh no, what's the news on the hybrid? Limited. Charlotte, can you please phone for me? No, <laughs> yeah. can you can you phone the call centre? I need the limited edition ones. <laughs> yes, you do. That's it. Limited edition. Uh, it's limited stock. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Six one zero nine eight four. Please get this while you can. Uh, Charlotte is frantically making phone calls, but um, yeah, this isn't going to last. Uh, but take it from me because I bought these the last time I was with Jill. They are fantastic because you know I rave on about my Sakura pens. I use them in conjunction with them and they work brilliantly. You get so many nice colours. Uh, so £12.59 if you're a Freedom member, that is a bargain. Uh, 610984. I would say call us, but there's seven minute queues on the phone line. Wow. Fastest way is if you check out on the website. Oh, Charlotte's saying she's got a handful left. Right then, um, <laughs> are you going to start? Which one are you going to start with? What I thought I'd start with um, is, I mentioned it when we were talking, about using a stencil um, and the fine pens, because I have got so many stencils mm. that I've not been able to use. I've just used them to dab ink through them, and that's it. Right. But to get the effect where you can actually draw into the stencil itself, you need a very fine pen. Um, and I need to give an update. OK. They've gone. Yes, the, the hybrid pens have oh gone. Oh my goodness. But that means that means if they've gone, you don't need these ones on the <laughs> counter. <laughs> Are they going to try and get some more? They're trying. Charlotte's making some phone calls, okay. but she doesn't know yet. If we can get any more on extended delivery, you will be the first to know. If they're in your baskets, though, check out, because if you leave it in there and don't check out, eventually it kicks them out of the basket and somebody else will get it, and you'll be disappointed if it's in your basket. So, OK, let's go on to but, the point liners. So, um, the very smallest one is the 0.05 so this would fit even in these tiny tiny little spaces there which you would have no chance of getting in mm. with anything else and then I have done that earlier <laughs> so I'm just going to go up to the 0.3 which is the middle one and then this just goes easily the ink flows so beautifully with these they are as I said five years in development mm. to get the pens that you want, it really does pay dividends. It's the whole ethos of, of Pentel. They, they believe in performance, mm. in quality, in value for money, all those things. And they, they are doing an awful lot as well, ecologically, mm. making sure that they're not adding to the problems that we have in the world today with, um, with plastics and things, Aww. but actually helping to stop it. So. Um, they're very, very ecologically minded as well, which makes them a, a very good company. How did you get involved with them? Um, my boss from my previous job, yeah. um, he went to work for them. OK. And he approached me and said, would you like to come and do some shows on Hachanda? And I said, Whoa. I would love to come and do some shows on Hachanda, especially if I get some lovely pens to work with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sound like me. <laughs> the pens are just absolutely beautiful. So... That's just, you can see the ease that that's gone round. Yeah. I, think. I, I won't do the butterfly. We know that's there. And 
Look, that's great, isn't it? So it's as if I've drawn that. I, I did use the colour brush markers earlier mm -hmm. and just swished those across in a what I was attempting to be an arty way. Yeah. But <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> it wasn't that arty at all. But um, it shows there how accurate those are. You try and do that with anything smaller, mm. you're not going to be able to do that at all. Right. So while I've got those out, yeah. Um, the eye, I did draw the eye. I I'm, I'm feel quite embarrassed because I'm not an artist. Honestly. So what I'm going to do great. is I'm going to have a go, just so you can see some of the different sizes. This is the point, not point 0.8. This is the largest one that they do. Yeah. And this is, as I said before, the, the familiar tip people, most people will know, is one millimetre. Yeah. So this is just slightly smaller than that. And I'm going to come... I've done this in pencil already. So I don't... Um, go around you can see how smoothly that works and then I'm going to come round. Mm -hmm. These are great for zen doodling aren't they? Oh they would be amazing for that mm. and also if you do a crossword puzzle oh yeah you can write and they give you the tiniest squares in the world to put your answers in. Um, I won't name the companies oh, okay. web, but that have just done that where my husband works. Oh, I entered the crossword competition. The clues were easy. It was trying to fit the letters into the spaces that wasn't. I, I wish I'd had these pens at the time. <laughs> I've been able to do it. I tell you what else these pens are fantastic for, and I see Leone do this a lot. Like if you want to extend a stamp, you know Leone's got those lovely doodly stamps, the yes. worker stamps. Yes. They're great for you know if you want to extend it, or um, what I've seen Lou do, Lou Withers. Oh, I don't need a surname. We all know Lou. Um, well, I mean, surname's important. Anyway, you <laughs> know what I mean. Um, if she likes to do round the edges, she'll do, like, dots and, you know, lines, and it perfect. works really well. It's perfect. It really is. And also, sometimes when you stamp, you mm. miss a little bit. Yeah, that's and true. And you can go back in and just pick up that little tiny bit. I've also, I've had um, digi stamps that I've, I've got to size for the card I'm making. And I've, for example, one I did last week, they had a cup of coffee with steam coming out of the coffee. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was causing massive problems as to what size circle I cut it out of. Right. So I had to take some of the coffee steam off. But what I could have done, well, what I did do actually, was I went back in with this pen yeah. and just made it a smaller bubble. So you don't have to be that good at drawing. You can just replace mm -hmm. to fit the size you want. And that does work really well. You saw how smoothly that went on there. Yeah. This is the, the 0.5. And I'm just going to go, this is the one, this is the medium, medium pen. See how easily that goes on. Yeah, that is. Just absolutely beautiful. Yep. Nice bit of cross grain. Yes. Mm -hmm. It just makes you into an artist, which is just, <laughs> it's just amazing yeah. to do that. And then I'm going to use one of the smaller ones. Let's try the 0.1. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go around again with this. So you can see the difference, how that, like using the smaller nib, without even much effort, you can see the difference yep. as Very to how that, how that looks. And that just, although it doesn't look like much now, you'll be amazed when it's finished. Cool. It actually does look like an eye, <laughs> <laughs> which is really good. But yeah, so stenciling, your own writing as well, it makes your own writing look so much better. Oh, that would be when good. You've got when you've got such a lovely pen set to work with and all the sizes going as well so that's really good and the best bit of this of course I, I love drawing eyes that's one of my favorite things the best bit of course is the eyelashes mm -hmm. is this the window to the eyes soul yes yeah. it is indeed <laughs> it is indeed so let's go for some nice thick lashes <laughs> so. bit of mascara yes gotta have your go mascara wrong. So you can see how easily those work. They glide, don't they? They do really do, yes, they really do. But you can complete your work really quite quickly, actually. Whiz along. There we go. There we go. If you've already got any of the pens that we've got on the show, we'd love to hear from you, you know, how yeah, you've been getting that on. that would be great. Love some testimonials. That would be amazing, yes. Yeah. I know um, the Hybrid Jewel Metallics, which have sold out now, um, are oh, just such a fabulous, fabulous pen. Yes. I should have brought my, my I've got a little um, journal going on, that I, that's what I colour oh, in. Oh yeah, that, yeah. That, that's such a good idea, Alex, to do it for a journal, mm -hmm. because you look at those pages and you look back at them and you can see 
it just makes it look so so lovely mm. to do that all right so there's a very quick okay just to show you how smoothly they flow and how easy it is to get within the same black pen mm -hmm. because of the nib size how much different that how much different that looks that's great so if you'd like to go for these you get the set of five your 0.05 0.5, no, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.8, and did I miss one? 0 0.5. There's 0.05. 0.1, 0.3, 0.5, 0.8. There you go. You got it. <laughs> 9.99, 461982 is your item number. And it, it's a permanent ink as well. Oh, good it's to know. It's waterproof and smudge proof obviously because it's permanent good so, so yeah. you can go over them with those lovely brush pens yes yeah. you can you can indeed well Marvelous. i've done it the other way around there but you could do it you could do it the other way around you yeah. can you can draw them then paint in afterwards with watercolors um and with dye inks as well Marvelous. so yes they're, they are very good permanent ink as well now you can shop by brand pentel are on the website have a look at all the lovely colors uh, what else have we got on there? What, are, what other pens have we got? Oh, we've got the brush sign pens. We've got oh, those the on the show. In outer space. Oh yes. <laughs> um, we've got the water brush pens that we've seen. Uh, we've got the pens where you can um, draw onto different items like ceramics and plates and glass and whatnot. We've got some great reviews here too. Look at those five, four and five star reviews, which we love. Oh, I'm looking forlornly at those pens they've gone. <laughs> Charlotte's like, I'm trying to find out if we can get some. So we're coming back to the point liners. 40% of the stock has gone. Uh, so you've got a lovely, I mean, this is the sort of thing that you can do. Look at all of that detail. Isn't that stunning? Um, and like I said, you can do a bit of zen doodling if you want to. Here's a drawing of the a lady here look at all that shading look at all that fine detail that you've got here and then here's grumpy our grumpy cat. cat he's such a good grumpy cat and then we've got our lady there she is again fine fine detail it's beautiful so how much did we say is gone over 40 percent of the stock gone on these it's a good job we've only got this one show today uh 9.99 five pound saving 461982 great stocking filler as well maybe you've already got some but if you know somebody else who hasn't that's a nice little present for that price then we've got our paint markers you're getting six of them but these are the ones that can go on to all sorts of different items the stones i love the stones and then i'll have to show you my favorite one <laughs> yeah, am I showing you now? This is just too cool. <laughs> I just keep, I want to make this exact, this exact repli replica. I love the look on her face. That's so cool. She's like, yeah, get in. And then we've got onto plates, onto ceramics. Um, and then we've also got onto some MDF or some chipboard that would work well. What else have we got? More plates. We've got this bowl of fruit onto stones they're perfect aren't they little bowl of oh look there's a little ladybird hang on yeah there it is look at that cute face that's so sweet a uh, slice of lemon strawberry that that is brilliant how you found that that's the perfect shape bit of watermelon love it so cute there's the mug we like the mug charlotte you're obsessed with mugs <laughs> she's <laughs> totally patched that's all i'm saying <laughs> and then onto a bit of glass too cool there's lots you can do with these uh, so you get the six paint markers you've got the red green yellow white and your metallics the gold and silver for 13.97 10 pounds and 30 pence saving 118924 then we've got the brush pens very handy now i have seen brush pens for a considerable price we have slashed the price on these just look at the saving i'm just going to let you look at that and then come and look at the colors so you've got the and they're bright and of course you can water them down so you can soften them um, they are using water water-based black red olive steel blue the gray what's that one at the bottom sepia oh that's a good one to have and then on the other side you can see you've got the purple light green sky blue rose orange and lemon they're all coming to you though you don't have to choose 
but you can go as bright and fantastic as this fellow or you can pull that colour out and you can do a bit of light and shade. It's fantastic this. Now, £44.94, £54 pounds off. It gets better. It's on a freedom discount. Now, if you bought anything from the Clarity shows and you popped in Clarity 26, you're not going to be paying for postage and you're already a freedom member. Um, so your freedom discount saves you £61.49. And even better than that, flexi buy. It's mad. Two, two payments of twenty pounds and twenty-three pence. Eight one five seven five four. Add these to your crafty stash, or again, this is another wonderful Christmas present for somebody. You could tell them you paid full price. They'll never know. Now with flexi, is it flexi order or flexi buy? Flexi order. Flexi order. Um, so if you're shopping and you put £60 or more into your basket, you can take advantage of flexi order. But don't listen to me, listen to Leone. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Are you ready? Right, so you're going to move on to the markers, are you? I am, yes. I, yeah. I have lots of questions about the markers, <laughs> but I'll let you start. Right, um, as we said, we get the four bright colours mm -hmm. here, and then the gold and silver as well. They work on non-porous surfaces, and the gold and silver work beautifully on black card as well. Yes. And I have found some papers will take the coloured ones. Mm -hmm. All, everything takes the gold and silver. Right. The, <laughs> the gold and silver are called super silver and super gold. Super <laughs> and they gold. really are. They shine and look just absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get these, they're going to be sealed up in plastic. Yep. And before you use them, you have to give them a really good shake. You can hear the ball bearing moving around Indeed. in there and then you have to prime them yeah and all priming means is that yeah, I won't do I won't take the top off and do this <laughs> imagine I've taken the top off yeah all priming means is you press it down you can just repeatedly do that you don't need to you just press it down and then you'll see the the beautiful silver or gold or whatever color it is mm -hmm. start to come through yeah and as that comes through that then um, means you can use the pen when you store them Store them upright, like this. Why is this? It stops them blotting. Okay. If you've stored mm. them down, then the ink can sort of like take a journey down during the evening or during the day. And then when you pick them up again, the ink's sort of puzzled at the bottom. So store them upright. What about um, on their sides? A lot of people store their alcohol markers on their sides. Um, it's recommended you store them upright. Still upright. So That's fair enough. Um, I'm not very good at being told, doing what I'm told to do, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I listened to that, so it no seemed worries. to work. I don't, I'll say that now, I'll get a big blob, but <laughs> it, should, it should work yeah. um, with that. Um, the other thing is with them as well, which is, is marvellous, that if you're just going to have it for decorative purposes, uh, you can just use them, um, or even like on the mug there that I've used, you can write on them. Just leave them 24 hours, and then you can wash them gently in like um, water with a, with a cloth. Yeah. I've even put them in the dishwasher. Have you? I, I was going to ask that. I wouldn't recommend it in its natural state. If, we've, if you've just used the pen and done nothing else with it, yeah. I would hand wash them. Okay. Um, if they're decorative, then you've got no worries at all. The other thing you can do is you can bake them. Okay. And by baking them, um, our oven's been on for about a week now. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, by baking them, you bake them. I was baking them on 170 degrees. Okay. And for an hour and a half to two hours. Yeah. I know people's ovens vary and people's ideas vary, but that seemed to really set it. And then from there, you know you can be a little bit more vigorous with them. Mm. Can you still eat off them, though, once they've been right. baked? They, they say 
um, you shouldn't eat off the painted plate. Okay. So if you want to eat off them, decorate the outside yeah, and put idea. your food in the middle. Okay. Or glaze them. You can buy dishwasher safe glaze. Right. A lot of companies make that. And once you've, you could heat set it and then glaze it over the top so that it is then safe to eat. But I would say... For decorative purposes, do whatever you want. Right. But if you're going to eat off it, write around the outside. There's a, one of my samples there. Um, I've written around the outside. Is it this um, one? It's, oh, that, it's one. that bottom. Well, yeah, that one there. Yeah. Um, I'm, I didn't pick the best colour, but it's my husband's called Kevin. Oh, no, it's And fine. it says, Kevin's plate, yeah. extra sprouts, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, that's brilliant. come out really well. So he can actually have his Christmas oh. dinner off that plate. That's great. Thinking about it, it's probably not big enough for him. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Jill, sorry. <laughs> the plate's probably not big enough for him. <laughs> See, that's why I asked you to repeat that, because no joke, the girls in the gallery said that at the same time you said that. So not a very big Christmas yeah. dinner. No, but, that's what so they're saying. You, they can, you can use the pens to put little jokes on things and, yeah. and another the one I did up there was like a joke one for the dog and things like that so you can use them to adapt them um, and what I've done here this is a lovely idea you can do this on on plates or on mugs or whatever you want to is to create the letter B so I'm just going to use a mixture of the colors to so that what's left you see how they come out so beautifully as well okay I'll give that a shake actually yeah How easy. Oh, look at that beautiful I didn't colour. shake it enough. I need it to shake it. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've die-cut the letter B. Um, you can do this either by hand or whatever. And you want to go as near to the edge yeah. so that you get the actual shape of it. But try and do a bit of variety with your colours as well. Do you know what, Jill? We've had some fabulous emails coming in. Oh, have we? Yes. Uh, so, this is from Marie, and Marie says, Glad to see you back on Hachanda, Demo in Pento. <laughs> I'm, do you know Marie? I do, I think it's from North Yorkshire. Uh, I'm not sure, but she says, I must say these pens are lovely to work with, whether using them for card making, mixed media, or on glass. So versatile, great choice of colours, nibs and mediums. My, fa my favourite pens are hybrids. The way these sparkle from different angles. Great demos, Jill, oh, Marie. Oh, how lovely. Thank you, Marie. That and, is And awesome. thank you so much for writing in. That's yeah. just brilliant. Thank you. Oh, a lovely email, that was. You had another one. Oh, this is from Joe. Do you know Joe? Um, I know a Joe, okay. but um, mm. there's probably more than one in the United Kingdom. Yes, there is, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Having said that, though, go, I'm going off on a tangent, and <laughs> Charlotte's like, oh, dear. They were talking about the uh, names released you know sort of the most popular and oh, the yeah. least popular yes, names yes, and yes, things yes and, and apparently richard is on the decline or something like there's only alexa is it oh, because of the oh yeah okay um sorry i've got mint anyway joe hello joe i totally hi, joe. digressed then <laughs> hi joe says hi ladies it's great to see the lovely jill demonstrating on her chanda again oh. um i love the pentel pens and would recommend them for all types of crafting i have a fair few including yes. the jewel <laughs> metallic pens and the brush pens loving the samples especially the christmas plates and stones and i love joe that you've put this emoji <laughs> i have to show this right <laughs> Look. Like the face. Can you, i don't know it's only tiny <laughs> oh bless like, yeah that's cool oh, yes i do know joe hi <laughs> joe how lovely thank you so much for writing in that's a lovely email again <laughs> what lovely that's so nice keep your emails coming in uh, and of course, if you want to show us anything that you've maybe used the markers on, I mean, even though we've sold out of the hybrid pens, doesn't matter, we can still see what you've done. We'd like to see. I should have bought my book on, it's only in the presenter's lounge. Never mind. So I'm, I'm dotting around here to, um, to create a, a background. I won't, I won't go on too far. I just wanted people to see how easily the pens went on. But I have got another plate with me. Right. Um, which we can have a bit more of a, a scribble on so you can see them come out in great um, colour. So I'll just put a few greens round. Mm, nice. And the other thing is as well with them, that if you put a colour on, yeah. say for instance if you're doing holly berries, and you put your red on, mm -hmm. and then let it dry. It is best to let it dry the best you can. 
and then you can go back and put a lovely little white dot on which just makes it look like it's a shiny holly berry oh lovely idea which is really nice you're talking about names just then yeah uh, i'll digress while i'm dotting that's all right um there's a program on um with a very unsavory character called arthur in it right and apparently arthur now is in the top 10 of boys names uh, is this from a certain um yeah a certain series based in Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah. Yes, it is. I don't know whether we're allowed to say that or not. That's um, all right. Um, but yes, it is. Yeah. And that now it is now mm. um, one of the most popular boys' names. Yes. See, we all take inspiration from things. Yes. Yeah. Um, a, a gangster. Actually, <laughs> Charlotte is number. I think because I was watching Good Morning <coughs> Britain. Not not Good Morning Hachanda. I was watching Good Morning Britain. Sorry, Hachanda. <laughs> I was watching Good Morning. Anyway. Um, oh, look. Let, let's see this. Let's see this. There you go. That looks really cool. It looks like a load of, um, you know, those lovely chocolate coated, covered, oh. yeah, colour <laughs> coated chocolates that you can get. There's a, there's a famous artist. Um, I, 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 can I reference yeah, him? Yeah, of course. Damien Hurst. We have oh, some yeah. glasses. Yeah. And they look just like that. Ooh, so, nice. Yeah, I'm channeling Damien Hurst. There the you plate. go. <laughs> but that is so simple to do. Isn't it? And it'd be a lovely idea as well to do that for, for a table. Yeah. Um, that's, that's so I'm nice. thinking, you know what I should have done was what? I should have perhaps filled, should I have filled those in inside? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Should we do that? Yeah, let's just do it. We'll, we'll, um, and then I can tell you that um, I'm pretty sure from memory Charlotte is 12th on the list. Popularity. Has that dropped? Uh, no, I think it stayed the same because I was listening to Charlotte Hawkins, other news presenters available. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking up whether their names are on the list. We need to look up Jill. Oh, that won't be there. Oh, I don't think that's sure been there will. since the 1970s. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you've finished this plate... Oh, that's better, yes. That yeah, needed like that? That, that, needed, that needed filling in. A little bit more. So, you see, you never make a mistake in crafting. No. You just learn. You're like um, a machine that learns from your, from your crafting experiences. Mm, I like that. Yeah, so... Remind us again how we set this. Right, OK. What you will do, and this is um, as well, I, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but this is what I read and this is what I did, was I put the paint on and I left it for 24 hours. Right. So don't be making this on Christmas Eve okay. uh, at <laughs> midnight. <laughs> that would be me. Mm -hmm. um, let it set for 24 hours. Then you put it in a cool oven. Yeah. Um, when I say cool oven, I actually mean a cold oven. What you do is you... you Put the plate in and mm -hmm. then you switch the oven on. I understand. Not so, a preheated oven, basically. Not a preheated oven, no, because they don't know, depending on the quality of the plate you're using, mm -hmm. whether or not it can take drastic changes in heat. So imagine it's going into a hot oven mm -hmm. from cold. It might not be able to take it because it's not necessarily, you don't have to use oven-proof things. Right. Some of my plates have been cooked three or four times and okay. they're still, still in one place, right. <laughs> one piece. Um, so cold oven, round about the 170, but... Check your own oven, you know, you might want to do it a bit lower, a bit higher. And then let it warm up itself to mm -hmm. the 170. You don't open the door, you leave it in there for at least an hour. And then when the time's up, <laughs> so I'm laughing because I forgot to turn it off. I switched the timer off and left the oven on the first time. I would totally and, do something like and, that. And you know, it was fine. It was. <laughs> yeah. How long was it in there for? Overnight. Whoops. <laughs> I think Try the not oven, to do that at I home. Think, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, um, the, I think the oven switched itself off because it was showing a, a, like a funny symbol. Oh, like so the straightness. A, yeah, it was Very a clever one. Um, so that did that. And then you leave it in until the oven has completely cooled down. Right. And then you take it out. OK. And that should heat set it. Brilliant. Um, but if it's just decorative, you don't even need to do that with them because okay. the paint, once... It, it's always dry to the touch within moments, mm -hmm. but then I'd leave it 24 hours before you start doing anything else with it. But Lovely. Um, what other demos would you like to do? Right, well, would you like to see the paint go on in big splodges? Sure. Because <laughs> we've done the nice little delicate bit, haven't we? OK, I need to mention about the hybrids. Hmm. Uh, phone calls have been made. Computer says no. Can't get any more. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. I'll come back again. OK, that I'll sounds come good. Back again. I'll find another sparkly top to wear. All right, <laughs> that works. <laughs> right, so this is um, being shaken up. And then I'm just going to do just a random... Do you want to have a go, Alex? Sure. You'll see how easily it goes on as well. It's very so smooth. I'm just going to do a couple of greens. OK. 
I'm not sure what design this is. I'm, I'm not sure which designer we're channeling here. It's going to be a mosaic design or pop art, something like that. Yes, yeah, some maybe a touch of um, Roy Lichtenstein. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't think he does this either. <laughs> okay. So there's the red. Yeah. So give that a shake. And then if you just want to... We'll do a colour each. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go like that way. Oh, look how rich they that is. They come out so beautifully and so easily. And you can overlap mm. like that. And as I said, when I, I made the carrot, I actually put the yellow down, then the red on top of it and actually mixed it together. OK. So you can do that. We'd get a brown if we did that. So I think it'd be nicer to keep those those colours look great yeah. together. I'm going in different ways. I do apologise for the sound, people, me shaking pens like this. This must be... There we go. Uh, I want to go like that. There you go. They do glide on. They're, They're very really, juicy, aren't really, they? Really, really, really juicy, yes. And these... Oh, look at that yellow. Wow, that's phenomenal. I like it. Details are on screen for these. You've got a massive £10.30 pence saving. And as we said earlier as well, if anybody missed it, um, I got my goddaughter to do her own plate. Mm. She came around and said, what's my job? Oh, <laughs> Your job is... And is she four? She's four. Yeah, She's yeah. only just four as well. And she did the whole lot herself. I showed her to shake the pens. She knew how to do it. Yeah. The ease of using them. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, you get the... You get the special ones. OK. <laughs> the gold. Pop a bit of this in then. So this is just random. So it's a beautiful gold. Oh, look how juicy that is. And you said on black card as yes, well. Yes, yes, on black card. May I just go and get Yeah, the... go for it. Oh, I'm just going to sit and colour. <laughs> I'm quite happy here. Oh, I can feel now, as I'm going onto that green, it's already starting to dry. Like, I can feel it's st stopping now. There we go, a bit there. Oh, sh sugar. You can do with them as well, which um, is this little set here, which is the acetate. Okay. And I've used the white pen mm -hmm. and made snow oh, because you pay nice. a fortune for acetate with snow on it. Yeah. And if you use a chalk pen, it rubs off so easily. Right. Use the white pen on it, and you are laughing. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Can I just reiterate? I didn't say a rude word. I said sugar. <laughs> I said sugar. And then this mm. is on the card. Yep. Just a couple of just very simple ideas for a Christmas card. Yeah. That's nice. That Isn't straight. that yes. so bright? So they Think are just a wiggle. so bright. Yeah. Really are. This is with the super silver. Super silver. <laughs> and a cape. And then that's, um, that is a tree. I just thought I'd point that out in case people didn't realise what it was. Yeah. But you can just write anything you want on there. Um, so they have a lot of crafting uses mm. as well as on ceramics and things like that. Yes. And even the white will show up as well oh yeah white on white because it's super white it is it is super ultra white, white. so you can it's even good. add that as well and then once this has dried you can go over the top and add like you could add other things to it you could draw flowers on there or holly do you leaves we, do you reckon we could flick with these well funnily enough um i accidentally did it at home with the gold yeah and i thought oh that looked amazing and then when i tried with the other ones they, I had, I think I'd stored it up the wrong way. I think oh, the gold. Okay. So I think if you store them up the wrong way, yeah. have a flick. Okay. And then if you don't, so that's just adding all the colours on there, um, and just for a bit of fun, really. Yeah. To see, to see how that looks as a, as a, a random plate. A random that's, plate. Um, I mean, what a lovely thing as well. If you want to make something yeah. for somebody, then it's your own personal design, your own personal touch. You can write their name around the outside. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Do you want to show us the water brush pens? Yes, of course. Move that to one side. These are the Ooh. water brush pens. Yep. And they come in the two sets, as we said. Mm -hmm. um, I'll use... I'm not sure which one to show you. I'll, I'll open this one here. Once you've opened them, yep. um, you get a little red band around them, which you can see on the untouched ones up there. That will keep them secure. Right. You can put the band back if you want to, mm -hmm. but again, I just store these upright. Yep. The tip on this is a durable tip, mm. and once the ink has run out, with the black, you can get a refill, but with the other colours, once they have run out, you've got yourself a beautiful brush mm -hmm. that you can just use over and over again. And I've paid more than £6 for a refillable water brush yeah. before now, and the tip on these 
is absolutely beautiful durable tip that you can just use mm -hmm. for ordinary painting marvelous and the color comes out very easily i imagine very very easily yeah i did a, a sample up there which i had to heat emboss the word hello first of all right oh look at that it's very rich so that's a beautiful green yes can you pull the colour out and make it lighter or does it stay yes, that you, vibrant? It will stay that vibrant but what you can do is you can use a non-porous surface and a water brush right. and then bring it out. I did that on some of the tags, yes. um, some of the pink tags that will be with the hybrid marker um, section. I did, um, I did do three colourways okay. in those. We'll get them handed in. And oh, then you can, you can cross over. So Look I um, at the, those the hello blues. the hello stamp yeah it, because it was heat embossed resist embossing I just went over the top of it mm -hmm. and it just um, you pick up your colours and then you can do a little bit of ombre oh like a bit of ombre <laughs> <laughs> and you can bring the colour down as well yeah which works really really well so those colours come out beautifully the um, is it this one. This one? No. no um, which one are you after? Which one? Oh, there we go. That pink one. That one. That was one. So what? I've, I've watered this down, and yep. I use pink, red, and purple. Yeah. And and the hello card was. Um, in just a, looking for it. Don't worry. Oh, bless it. I think it's at the very end in orange. There you go. So you can see. So you can see. Out. So that's used like an ombre effect and just brought the colours. Uh -huh. And then there's the resist embossing, and yep. then the colour, of course, will go straight over the top of it. And you can make some wonderful, beautiful designs with it. Yeah. And the other thing you can do with it, of course, is the spritzing as well. Oh, yes. And I know people have different ways of doing different things, mm. but when you're spritzing, one of the ways to do it is to get a fibre tip pen, which we can thank Pentel for. Indeed. <laughs> you get a fibre tip pen and you, you, you scribble, 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 depending on the quality of the pen, for a yeah. long, long, long time. And then by then, by the time you've finished it all, the first one's dried up. Mm. With these... Um, you all right? Yeah, I was just looking for my spritz before okay. I did that. So with these, of course, you get beautiful colour come out. And this is valve controlled, so if you squeeze, yeah. you'll get more colour out. Oh, nice. So I'll do three of those. Are you doing a nice background? Yes, mm. I'm going to make a lovely background. And then a little bit of, just a touch of the darker one. Mm -hmm. And then let's put this, uh, it looks like a purple, but it, it's, um, it's like a rich, beautiful, like a cyclamen pink, Ooh, I think, nice. would be a, a good way. So I could spritz that. Okay. So much easier than trying to rub away with the felt tip pens. And then you can stir the ends of it just to give it a bit more oomph. So what I tend to use, use the end of the pen <laughs> that I'm colouring, otherwise you just get a lot of purple. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's our dotting. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this set has a massive discount, and even better a freedom discount, and even better flexi buy, which is brilliant. We've had some fantastic bargains over the last week. So then I'm just going to pop that on there. Yeah. Press that out. This would be really embarrassing if I pick this up and there's nothing there. Oh, there'll definitely oh, I think be there something will be. there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a clue there. Oh, that's lush. So that's come out beautifully. And then you can always go back in and dip yep. back in there. That will, that will settle itself in a moment. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and you can use a little sponge. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm just going to pick mm -hmm. that up as well. See, I told you I was a crafter. Yeah, <laughs> I can't leave indeed. anything behind. No, no waste. My secondary background. Yeah, it always. It's, you know, funnily enough, sometimes you do this and you end up preferring mm. the second one you do. That's interesting. To the Look, first that's one. That's cool as well. So that's, that's got a little bit more character to it as well. Yeah. Marvellous. Thank you, Jill. We've just literally got about three or four minutes to have a quick recap. Uh, if you want to go for these water brushes, these beautiful colour pens, uh, then it's on screen for you. You get 12... Oh, not that one. Sorry, that's all right. We're moving down the counter. Um, you get 12 colours in total. Two payments of £20 and some change, which is just phenomenal. If 
you're a Freedom member, you get, what's the discount? £61 or something like that. <laughs> wow. I know, that's absolutely incredible. £61.49. 815754 is your item number. Now, just coming back to these pens, what surfaces can these... Um, Paint markers go on. Right, anything non-porous. Right. Um, even eggs. You want to decorate yeah. eggs, you can do them. Any, and porous means it will soak it up, so you couldn't draw on a sponge with them. Right. Um, but you can draw on, on glass jars, on, on glasses, mugs, plates. Obviously, you can see here, stones. Um, plastic, Sorry, Holly. Hard mm -hmm. plastic, like I've done here for the, for the dog's Christmas present yeah and soft plastic like the acetate for the snow scene oh yeah um, anything that is not not going to soak up the color mm -hmm. will take them and the gold and the silver work extremely well on any other surface as well right um, and I have had some success as well that card there with those two holly leaves on These. if I can just borrow that yes um, that is the um, that is colored in the color brush marker green right and that is colored white paper with the paint marker oh, in green. Oh, that's interesting. So it worked on the white, but I found some of the card, the thicker card, yeah. it soaked into it. Not the gold and silver. Gold and silver work on all of them. Yeah. But the, the papers, the colours will work on those. But predominantly, you are buying them to decorate things. Are those the... Are, there, is that, are those these or those are the hybrids? The... Mainly the hybrids, but um, it's another Pentel pen oh, on there as well. But it's okay. the, that was there for the hybrids. But oh, what nice. we can't talk about we because you'll get too upset because you haven't got your limited can't edition ones them. now. Oh, so look, I've got, I have to show this one again. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is just my favourite. I love this. So on the stones, that's wonderful. Yeah, and wood as well on the gingerbread man there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, there so you he's are. A, and, and mirror board as well. Mm -hmm. So. Mirrorboard, very difficult to get anything on mirrorboard, yep. apart from glue when you don't want to. Yes, I know, <laughs> I find that always. very so, frustrating. Um, so those um, on the mirrorboard, you can do lots of designs of those. Mm -hmm. And then wooden letters just transforms the wooden letters. And um, the glass jar, yep. which just, they make lovely gifts for people. Don't and they? And they're such fun to do. That's, <laughs> I'm a Christmas mug. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you can bake them. Yes, yeah. So they'll set. Yes. Um, and then you can wash them mm. with a soft cloth and warm water. I wouldn't recommend a scourer. But the other thing is that I, w I wanted to say was if you do make a mistake, mm -hmm. and believe me, I did when I was doing all this practicing for them, yep. soak them in a bowl of water for right. an hour or so and then take the green scourer side okay. of, part of a scourer to them and it will scrub off. Lovely. And you've got, you can start all over again. Oh, that's and good. If, when you're putting it on, when you, if I say, for instance, I'd spelt plate wrong, yeah. I immediately take a wet wipe Okay. I can wipe it straight off if I'm quick enough. Brilliant. Thank you, Jill. Uh, it's been a fabulous hour. You can order these after the show. I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much indeed. It's been wonderful. Good Thank stuff. Thank you. Uh, right, don't go anywhere because we've got more coming up after this short break.